I sincerely apologize, you guys. I, I feel so bad. I've had to quit two of them. It keeps kicking me out. So I'm just going to record it. And then Vicky's like, just record it and we'll put it on after. So please forgive me. I really apologize. But hang in there. I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to talk about these products. And then please post questions to this. And then um, we can just have open discussion on anything you may have a question on, okay? So let's get back to our dusting mitt. I'm not sure how far ahead or how much you guys saw. But this guy has this really thick plush microfiber in it. And all of the dust that are in our homes, mostly human and pet dander, bug dander, pesticides, um, and then air and soil par particles that just float around in our atmosphere. So normally, in my previous days, I would use pledge and a rag and dust off all my surfaces. Well, normally when you come back around, what happens? What's it look like? It's nice and shiny, but then all that stuff has just literally resurfaced itself right back on to the area. It's because that chemical had that, all that residual muck that's left on there. What you use to dust didn't pick it up and attract it at all. It just pushed it up and let it fly around, and then it came and settled back on your surface. So it kind of makes sense once you start to think about it this you do not use anything with it you can spray your surface wet with water if you want to you don't need to but it is so plush and thick i wish you guys could feel it you kind of want it as a bathrobe but like it's that good <laughs> um but so all of this dust and um particles that are sitting on your surfaces have a negative charge so what you want to do with your dust mitt is to rub it together and give it a good static charge that way it's going to fire up and literally attract and pull in all of that stuff so it doesn't fly around on all your surfaces. You've got that nice thumb hole. If you can see behind me, I have my banister, so I just walk down. I even sometimes will go individually in between the rungs. It's good around all ledges and windows um, and picture frames and things like that. It's great in your car if you get it on your dashboard. I know a lot of people use it on their pet's paws. Like we have a pet mitt, but they've used this before. And it's great at the beach. We took it to the beach this summer, um, and it removes all the sand because it's just so plush. I can't show you in this video, but if you could see how plush it is, like it just has so many little fibers in it that pick up a ton. So I was saying earlier, I don't know if the video caught it, but we live in a rural area surrounded by fields. So when harvest comes and all of that stuff that comes off the husks and floating around and all that dust and dirt that's been sitting out there, it comes on the screens in our windows. So then we get this wet and I just wipe down all of those screens and it removes all that gunk. So if you live out in the country or in an area with a lot of traffic where a lot of dust is moving, try that on your screens. It's amazing. Then when I'm done, I go outside. I use our rubber brush and I just get all of the gunk out and release it out into the air. Get it out of your house and be, be done with it. Then I just throw it back in my closet until I'm ready to clean up the next time. So it's really great. Again, the window cloth and viro cloth and our dust mitt come in the household package. And that's probably the best starter package that you could start with for sure. All right. Now, let's talk about our Enviro wand. So, some of those other must-have products, this is one for me. If you can see, it's got all these little fingers on it. So, it works hand-in-hand -hand with our dust mitt, but it's extremely useful for getting in all of those tall nooks and crannies, window ledges, ceiling fans, high-vaulted um, beams, like you see mine behind me and my, my ceiling fan. You see my stone fireplace, I've used it on that. It gets cobwebs out of corners, and it grabs and locks in everything right here. So you can see this side has all these little fingers in it. It's nice and chenille. So it grabs and locks in and holds in all of that gunk, all of that dust. So that you can move in and get behind some surfaces or some things that you normally have on top shelf or behind dishes in your dining room, things like that. The back side of it has just our regular soft microfiber on it. So you see it's a little bit softer on this side, okay? The best part about it is it's designed to bend. So this is the best part because look, for my ceiling fans behind me, I can bend it to fit the blade exactly like that, okay? 
and then I can just work around my fan blade and get all of the dust and stuff caked up on there that's been sitting on that surface. And luckily nothing falls on the head. Majority of the time it just is stuck in these little fingers that I have to use my rubber brush on to get outside, but it locks and holds it in. So this is the Enviro wand. Um, some other purposes I have found to use it, I've cleaned my windows, I mean, I'm sorry, my walls with it. We have like the um, return air vents in our rooms and this gets good into all of those grooves and vents on that. I will sometimes shove it in my dryer lint screen where the lint screen comes out and all of that lint is down in there. I'll shove it down in there and grab all of that out. Some people are able to take apart the front part of their oven and get up in, in the glass with this and get all the gunk out of it. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks pretty cool. Um, it bends, so again, you can use it for multi-purpose in many different things. All right, the best part about it, second best, is that it attaches to our mop handle. So we have a telescopic mop handle that adjusts to height, things like that, okay? I just took this off. I'm gonna grab our mop handle. And I'm going to show you how I clean those beams and the ceiling fans behind me without getting out a ladder, without calling the husband in from doing chores outside to do. I can just use my telescopic mop handle to get all that good stuff. So again, I'm just going to bend it to fit to my specific need. Okay, I'm going to show you right here. See how the mop can extend? Just like that. Okay, so this is great for all those vaulted ceilings or high, you know, window ledges and things like that you can't get to. If you can see me all the way back here, I'm just going to hit it on this like that. Well, maybe like that. See? And then just slide it off. This is how I clean all of my fan blades. Just like that. It's good to use in tall, tall ceilings. Look at ceilings to get up in those edges and in the corners and things like that. And again, the little nubby chenille fingers hold on to everything. And this little sleeve is removable. So say, for example, you have a really tough job and a job you just clean and it's gotten really dirty. Then I just use our rubber brush again, go outside, get all of that gunk out. And then I can just take it off like that. Can you guys see? It removes off of there. And then I can just wash it like normal. So, Enviro Wand, a must-have. Must, must-have. Second best to the dust mitts. All right. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I keep talking about this rubber brush. This thing is pretty much a lifesaver when it comes to our microfiber. It pulls out all of that gunk that's been locked in there that's holding on so tight with our microfiber, and it's great for pet hair, and it's great for cleaning out rugs, things like that. I have brushed down so many things of pet hair that just collects in the carpet or in crevices like where the um, corners meet and it's that nasty little corner where all of the dust bunnies and pet hair sits in and I'll just scrape it out and it pulls all of that out. The finest, finest hair. All right, so moving on to our most coveted item, the mop. This product it's probably the toughest one it took for me to love, honestly. Everybody says it's amazing, you've got to get one. I got mine for free when I signed up to sell. So you get it for free if you sign up to sell, and then you can use it in your home and then all around your parties. That's exactly what I do. So it's best for all of those non-carpeted areas. I have tile, um, laminate, and um, linoleum, vinyl, like that. So I use it on all of my surfaces. And it comes with two mops. So when you purchase the mop set, it comes with two mops like this. You get the yellow and the blue. So the yellow is for dusting. So it's like a silent vacuum, okay? And then the blue is for washing. So that's how you're going to clean all your floors. In the past, I did Swiffer. And that left streaks. And the smell was nice. Mm, sometimes. And then... Um, the stickiness was not nice, so it never felt clean on my feet. It was just like you're tack, walking on tack paper and like, eh. Then I moved on to a steam mop, which I did really enjoy, but it took me almost an hour to clean my entire home because I had to stop and I had to fill it up and then I had to let it heat up 
so it just took a really long time. This mop is amazing, and I'm going to tell you, like I said, I didn't love it in the beginning, but it took me three to four times to see the difference and fall in love. It is much easier, no sloshy buckets, no more Swiffer pads that you're ripping off and putting in the trash. You're using just this and water, and it's safer for you and your family and your animals. If you think about your pets walking around on the surfaces and they're always licking their paws, think about what's on their paws and from that chemical. Um, what took me the hardest time to love it was that it comes off in layers. What's that mean? So every time I cleaned, three times I cleaned with this mop and I did not see a great difference. It was streaky. Um, it didn't leave that best of a look on there and I just wasn't happy. So I called my team lead. I said, Heather, I'm not loving this. Tell me what I'm missing because I do not love it. And she said, well, how many times have you used it? I said, well, this is three. I've used it three times. She's like, give it another try. You have to consider everything you have used in the past and the layers you have put on and how many layers it takes to get it off. I'm like, oh, okay. And she was true. It, it was, I mean, she was spot on. It was absolutely true and it, did come off like that third and that fourth and fifth time and then I was set I'm like okay I know why they love it but anyway the mop so you saw it was velcro all of our heads are velcro so if you can see I keep one side floppy and one side super tight on the edge anybody know why I would maybe want to do that when I do super tight on the edge, that allows me to get in those corners and really jam in and actually maximize my use of the mop, basically. Um, again, the telescopic mop handle, you can move it. It's ergonomic, so you want to use it kind of in between your chin, your chin and your nose area. And then when you use the yellow one, that's the dusting mop. So that's what you go around first, like your silent vacuum, okay? Then when you're ready to mop, you will get your balloon head wet with warm water. Okay, I just run it underwater. I fold it in half and then I wring it out. Okay, and I lay it flat on the ground. Again, keeping one side tight like that. Okay, one side tight and one side a little floppy. Okay. That's just how it's been worked for me because it gets really good in those corners. Sometimes I have to add a little bit of pressure if there's like a nasty food stain or popsicle or whatever may be on the floor and really push down and kind of give it that extra benefit. This is amazing. This evaporates. It's only water. So once you pick up all those layers in the first three times you use it, by that fourth time, you're going to see the amazingness of what the mop is. And it evaporates. Your feet feel good. You feel better knowing there's nothing on your floor. And it has backlock in it. Remember what backlock is. So it's literally picking up the germs and taking them away. Now, if you're a pet owner like myself, we have this nice chenille mop head. Again, it's just like the Enviro wand with all of those fingers in it. This is what I use on our floors. You can see the wood laminate behind me. And then um, the couch over there. So the sun shines in our house this way in the morning and that way at night. So we always see our floor. All the time. I can never get it clean. We're busy. Yeah, I maybe clean it once or twice a week, but it could use more by the looks of it. This is what I use to dust on my floors. Because the little fingers pick up all of his pet hair and all of the dust and junk we've brought in. And again, when you're done, rubber brush outside. Get all the stuff out. The best part about this one, when I go around dusting my floors with my mop, again, I keep one side tight and one side floppy. Why do you think I would want to do that with this one? I do that so I can pull up this side and put it on my baseboards. Again, I'm maximizing and using the best of this mop to get the most clean out of my home. So when I prop it up against my baseboards, it's dusting all the baseboards if you have them like that thick, that thick, or tall, sorry. Um, and it, you're doubling, you're tripling the effectiveness of what you're doing and cleaning. This is how you get everything done in less time, I swear. All right, the other mop head we have is for tile. You can see it's got that green waviness to it. So this has like a little bit of, um, you can see it, it's kind of rubbery feeling. Majority of our products are polyester and polyamide. 
And then you'll also see that they're made in a lot of different countries. So again, we are a global mission, but keep in mind, it's what we're out for is the mission is to improve quality of life by radically reducing chemicals in our home. So when you feel some of these products and you see the tags, it's mostly polyester, some nylon, and polyamide, okay? So this is the tile mop, just like the wet mop, you get it wet, wring it out, plop it on the, the ground, and then you just do like a figure eight motion basically, because that way you don't leave any streaks those first few times after you get those layers off. And when you do a figure eight motion, the grippiness of this is picking up and it's allowing these waves to effectively grab and grasp all the gunk. It's really good on vinyl too. Gets in all those little crevices that the vinyl is so bumpy on. Things like that. Okay, let me make sure I got all my notes on the mop. Any questions? Um, I think that's it. Again, keeping all those mop pads out of the landfills, you're not using chemicals for your feet and your family to walk on and your pets as well. The mop's amazing. Sometimes my hostess earn the mop, like right now it's mop month, so when they get mop month, they can get it for free if they hit a certain tier. Um, and the tiers go by how many guests have bought and then how many, how much sales, etc. So keep in mind, again, best way to get free Norwex is to host a party. All right, now I'm going to show you how to launder and care our products. Two things, you can wash them in the washer, like normal, and dry them in the dryer. There are three rules, and I'm gonna tell you what they are right now. The first one, do not use bleach. Bleach disintegrates all of the microfiber. It breaks them down and they are less effective. Two, no linty items. You don't wanna put this in with a bunch of towels. It's gonna to clog and get all of that lint from those towels in here. Again, making it less effective. Three, no dryer sheets. Who uses dryer sheets? Anyone? You don't want to, and I'm gonna tell you why. So in my studies when I did this, at my in-home parties, we pass around these cards on chemicals, and the one on the dryer sheets is pretty disturbing. So for one, they cause house fires. Two, they have three of the most toxic chemicals in them, per the EPA's most hazardous list. And three, when you put them in there, what are they like? They're waxy, they've got that structure to them, they're firm, right? And then after you're done, you pull it out, what is it like? It's like a tissue, where did all that stuff go? Your clothes may smell better, but what's that stuff in them? Are you familiar with chloroform? Are you familiar with ethyl acetate? And um, what's the third one? I've completely lost it, camphor. So these are all waxy, colorless, toxic chemicals that are put into dryer sheets and they're coating your clothes. And if you guys remember at the beginning, I said it only takes 26 seconds for chemicals to enter your body and your bloodstream, 26 seconds. So think about that with these dryer sheets. We have alternatives and solutions for that stuff. So, drying, washing, caring for your microfiber. Let's look at this jar. This is store-bought laundry detergent, okay? I don't know if you guys can see very well. There is some blue-ish water, and then you kind of see how cloudy it is? This has been in there for a year, okay? The cloudiness, I can only, down at the bottom, you guys see it really good now. See those liquid in it, which I assume is just the soap, but then all the fillers that they have in some of these products, ground up concrete, animal fat, synthetics, um, fillers that include fragrances and dyes, things like that. That is what I can assume is floating in this jar. These have been sitting in there since 9-9 of 2017, okay? This one, this is why you use our laundry detergent and why I sh can't stress it enough, especially if you have allergies or skin condition, eczema, um, what's the other one? Cirrhosis, things like that. You will want to possibly look into this because store-bought items and stuff that are in our, our personal care products, 
breasts have a lot of endocr endocrine disruptors in them, which affects us as women. And it helps, you know, trigger things like our moodiness, metabolism, sleep, mood, um, your reproductive system and things like that. And when you're using some of these products that have that in there, you have to keep in mind, again, it's touching you in 26 seconds, it's going to be in your bloodstream. So this one was a pod, okay? So you can see down at the bottom again, we have some liquid, which I assume is the actual soap, right here in the middle. I'm gonna move this jar. See how it separates, you guys? This is a cloud of something. I, again, I can only attest, I only think it's fillers. It's animal fat and gunk and stuff, synthetics. And then up here, do you see all that? I can only think that that may be the plastic of the actual pod, like broken down. But again, these have been sitting in there almost a year now, and that's what they look like and have separated into. Now, this one, same thing, been in there since 9 9 of 17. Look how clear it is. Do you see anything in there? This is our Norwex laundry detergent powder, okay? Highly concentrated. It's got a great enzyme base fighting power against stain and breaking down all the particles on your clothes. You see how it got all sudsy? Now look how it's returned back to clear. This, because it has zero fillers in it, there's nothing in there. No fragrances, no SLS or LES, things like that that are going to affect us as women and possibly trigger some things. Um, there's nothing in it. It comes in a bag. It works in standard as well as high efficiency, and we have just introduced our new and improved laundry detergent. So again, it's just much better at breaking down all of the stuff on your clothes and getting all of the dirty stuff out. Um, there is no smell, so I know a lot of people love their dryer sheets and love things like that. We sell dryer wool balls that you guys can put into your dryer to lift and separate clothes and soften them. As well, you can add in essential oils at the end to kind of increase the smell and give you that sense of you know security that it's clean so I can only suggest our laundry detergent now that's pretty much it for the safe haven top like basic package I'm gonna go over three of my favorite things okay the first one is this you can see it's very see-through this is a dishcloth so, no more scotch brights, as I talked about in my little giveaway video the other day. No more scotch brights that inhibits all of that, or it holds all of that bacteria and that mold and the sponginess. Can you imagine all the stuff growing in there? It smells for a reason, right? This guy is amazing. So, you just get this wet. I bunch it up just like this. I squirt my, lawn, my dish detergent on there, and then get it wet, and I just remove all my stuff. It removes bacon grease. Um, it will get off all the caked up stuff on your pans and your pots and things like that. And the best part about it, when you rinse it out and get all the soap out, you hang it over your faucet like this and it dries within 10 minutes. There's nowhere for bacteria to grow and live on this thing because it's see-through. Okay? So that's probably my number one. My number two are the body cloths. So this one took me a while. I can't physically talk to you about products I haven't used, so I had to try this. Our body cloth is used in place of soap, okay? It's soft, it has backlock in it, and it's about very similar to our Enviro cloth. So this helps your body return back to its natural state. Now your natural oil is your pH balance, and it exfoliates, so it's pulling off all of that dead skin, and also those things that you've applied to your skin that have come in layers, it's gonna come off in layers too. So you would use this in place of soap and what you're currently using right now. This is also good for eczema and also for all any other skin conditions or anybody that has like skin allergies and things like that. Um, I use this on my girls sometimes. So if we go out but it's not really bath night and they've kind of gotten dirty but not dirty enough, we give them a Norwex bath is what we call it. They always say, are we gonna have a Norwex bath? Like, no, not tonight, it's full bath, you're pretty dirty. This is what we call a Norwex bath. So I just get this wet and I just wipe them down. Again, it pulls all that 99% of bacteria off your body. And they feel great. The second companion with that is this tiny little makeup remover cloth. 
this removes everything. So I wear eyeliner. It removes my eyeliner, my mascara. It takes off lip, lip scents if you ladies wear that. Oh, and it feels so good. So I don't really use a lot of product on my face. I use like Rodan and Fields to, you know, keep my lines tight up here. But other than that, I don't use anything on my face. I, this is how I wash my face morning and night. This right here. Okay. And then my third favorite and the last thing I'm going to wrap up with. Cleaning paste. Uh, can you see it? This is cleaning paste. So this is elbow grease in a jar. This is made of marble flour, traces of coconut oil, and natural soap. So the good thing with this is it smells amazing, first of all. And second of all, it gets it's good with our Spiri sponge. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a nice little scrubbing power that is added to it. So you get this wet, you swirl it around in the cleaning paste, and then you can get off hard water stains. Um, you can clean all that soap residue and muck on your sinks. It's good to get off boiled potatoes in your um, on your stovetop, and it gets the that like filmy stuff off your um, headlights on your car. So many uses for it. I'm going to post pictures and 35 ways to use cleaning paste after this. So you ladies can be like, oh yeah, I could totally use that for this. Some people have been getting permanent marker off walls with it. And then I clean my grout with it all the time. I'll post those pictures as well. So just a little bit of that plus water cleans it all. Um, I will say not to use it with natural other natural stones because natural versus natural doesn't mesh well and it normally affects the quality of your natural product. So a lot of people with stone showers, don't use it. Don't use it. It'll ruin it. Try it on something else. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the goodies of what I wanted to tell you all about. Now, let me find my cards because, okay... If you have any questions on the care and laundry, um, please let me know. I can definitely go over that again, and it's super, super easy to use and do. But just keep in mind, we are a global mission thing. So everything that we do is to help this entire mission of cleaning without chemicals. The best way, again, to get free product is to host a party with me. Let me know if you're interested. Vicki's probably going to get, hopefully, between two to $300 worth of free product. Norwex is very giving. They are very giving because you are helping to spread the mission that they have set forth to better ourselves. Um, and they're giving to me as a consultant. Every party, I get 35% commission. And then anytime I get a recruit, I would get commission off what they do and so on and so on. So I do this as part time and I'm, I'm able to pay my car payment every month plus something else. So it's been a great addition to my income. And, you know, just kind of adds to it. Um, I can do it when I want. That's what's exciting. I normally only do weekends. I like to do weekend face-to-face -face parties. I've really enjoyed this, even though it hasn't worked out well for me. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but it's just a great business. And if you feel like you can back up these products, you're interested about it, let me know. And we can definitely talk. But in the meantime, Priscilla and Vicky's party is going to stay open for a few more days, if not a little bit longer. We're just going to keep seeing how orders come in and things like that. But in the meantime, if you have any questions for me, please let me know. Um, I hope I've demonstrated the products to you. I hope I've given you enough information to go by. And if not, I'd be happy to jump on here another day and give you some more information. Um, I just want to visit back to these chicken swabs just to show that it's still showing there's no protein present and we're still green, purple, green. So, yeah. All right. So, I just want to throw in one incentive. If we can get Vicky's party to a certain number after tonight, I'm going to see what number that is. I am going to give somebody a $25 shopping spree of those people who have placed an order on me. So $25 shopping spree on anyone who has placed orders on me. Okay. So keep that in mind. I love to help out my hostesses. So anything I can do to kind of boost that for her and to get more out of Norwex and gain the maximum rewards is what I'm all about. Because like I said, Norwex is so giving and I can't wait for them to be so giving to you. 
thank you again. Sorry for bearing with me in three different videos and a mess and all of that. I really appreciate it. I just want to thank Vicki and Priscilla also for hosting. Their party links are live on the page. So if you go back and scroll down a little bit and they're listed down there and go visit, check things out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Also, follow me on Facebook. I do a ton of giveaways as well as specials monthly. So keep that in mind too. And again, I really enjoy talking to you. Please post any questions and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all.